So you work with some of the most iconic brands in the world, but you as well made all these bridges, like I said, pre-internet, uh, internet, digital transformation, mobile, and metaverse. So very few people can have that, and especially in, in major brands. So you did it, and, and but as well, you were as well entrepreneur. So tell us a bit how, how was this journey, and I don't know, some highlights that you want to, to share with our audience, because I think that's always the pearls that come out of an experience like yours. It was quite natural because, um, look, Dennis, um, I come from a family of engineers. Um, a lot of people in my family are engineers. So uh, logic and understanding how things work have been part of my life since I was a child. I remember my father showing me a dam when I was probably four or five and explaining to me the principle of a turbine that was creating electricity. And I was four or five. So that, that's the kind of environment I grew up in. So that's that's the kind of uh, mentality that permeated my family. Uh, and my brother also is a mechanical engineer and is, cre is creating, fun enough, wind turbines um, uh, for, 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 for clean energy. So being able to understand the power of tools that are available right now for humanity is uh, essential to be able to navigate all those different eras, pre-internet, primordial internet, uh, broadband internet, mobile, and now what is going to be the metaverse. Uh, and understand that they're not going to replace anything, but they're going to augment our life and the way that we work. And the sooner we realize that they're not enemies, but they're potential tool to supersize and augment and boost the productivity, the opportunities, and everything that we do and everything that we want to organize, it's it, it, it's going to be an, an eye, -oper, eye opener moment, right? You know, you, you're going to understand that the, the opportunities are endless. So it's important to do it of course, with enthusiasm, but also it's important to do it knowing that those things can that can be dangerous in some way and can take over your life. Uh, eventually, using them in the right way and in an ethical way is also very important. And that's why also I wrote the book that uh, you 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 so kindly reviewed in one of your videos, uh, Understanding the Metaverse: A Business and Ethical Guide. Every technology that we invented um, in the last, I don't know. 200, 300 years, created dramatic changes in our society. Um, or in, in a good way, but also in a bad way. Think about fossil fuels. They enabled a worldwide economy, uh, allowing people to travel around the world. Uh, they created uh, a network of... Um, fuel that is also eating up and powering our uh, our homes, but at the same time are creating uh, pollution and climate change and so on. Social networks, uh, we've been able to find people that we lost uh, many years ago. Uh, we've been able to use this platform eventually during times of war or during times of revolt in order to organize together people to fight uh, um, regimes and dictators, but at the same time, those same platform have been weaponized by countries and uh, have been used in order to manipulate the masses. Think about what happened with Brexit or think about what happened with the election in 2016 in the United States. So it's important to understand that there are pros and cons with every technology that is injected into society. The problem is that in the last 300 years, governments and legislation have been always reactive when those technologies were being used in, uh, uh, in a bad way or realized that some of the outcome and outputs of those technologies and new processes could be dangerous for society and humanity. It's important to stop playing with emerging technologies like children unaware of the potential dangers and just having fun. It's important to grow up and look at those technologies in a more critical way and understand that 
maybe it's important to put some boundaries about the use of those technologies. Boundaries for the potential dangers that we are aware of right now. Obviously, there are some use cases that we may not be aware that will arise into the future. But I know, you know, spending few hours just thinking about this and making this an important relevant topic for local governments and not for the private companies that are operating in the business. Obviously those local companies, the, 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 the companies are for profit, but we need to think about the, the res publica, the, 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 the Republic, right? The La Cosa Publica, as we say in Italian, the, the thing of everybody. It's important to think about the wellness of our society. So I, I think that the ethical aspect of these technologies should be evaluated before designing the blueprint and the foundation of an infrastructure like the metaverse that is going to be the future of how people will communicate, will interact, will play and will work. Yeah, that's a lot of pearls of wisdom there, but there's well a lot of challenges.